myself angita tiwari from lg institute of engineering and technology from ids department i'm going to take a session from the subject that is computer vision the subject code is 317614 the module that we are going to cover is module number 4 that is segmentation in that we are going to cover the topic that is mean shift mode that is mean shift and mode and graph based segmentation so basically we are starting with the first topic that is graph based segmentation well many merging algorithms merging and splitting region splitting region merging we have already seen the different algorithm that is what i shared and many of them they simply apply a fixed to what that groups pixels and regions together but of course whenever we want to split or whenever we want to merge any of the pixel region then we have to apply a rule what to group the pixels together first of all or the regions together and then presenting a merging algorithm it's merging or splitting that uses relative that is dissimilarities because whenever you want to merge it there should be some specific similarity between the group then if we are talk if we are merging the two of the groups there will be always a dissimilarity between the two groups so relatively the dissimilarities between the two merging regions when we are merging it okay between the regions we will be determining it that that should be merged or not because there should be a dissimilarity present between the two of them in order to merge it so in order to produce an algorithm that probably utilizes a global grouping metric is known as graph based segmentation so they start with the pixel to pixel dissimilarity because we have to need to find it out two pixels are there with respect to the region we are dividing the two of the forms so this similarity measure we will be finding it for a particular region that will be measuring it for example like intensity difference between the n8 neighbors so n8 neighbors is a property like two of the uh, neighbors one with one of the pixel is defined with the eight of the neighboring properties like left right top bottom and the two adjacent diagonals okay so eight neighboring property it is now when first difference that we can find it out for a dissimilarity is intensity differences so whenever we talk about the intensity differences that will be a first dissimilarity between the groups the same thing for a, for a region r now its internal differences is defined as the largest edge weight where in the regions minimum span so this is an example suppose we are considering an r and its internal difference is defined how it is defining it as the largest edge weight in the regions that is minimum spanning tree where internal that is the internal difference r is defined as equals to minimum that is e belongs to m that is st to the r with the we property so for any of the two adjacent regions with at least one edge that is connecting their vertices the differences between these regions is defined as the minimum weight edge that will be connecting the two of the regions with what measure so the difference between the r1 and r2 the two of the regions when we are merging it we will be seeing the dissimilarity so dissimilarity will be proportionate to the minimum value required that is equal to what i says that v1 to v2 till which in which v1 belongs to r1 and v2 belongs to r2 because both vertices should be at different proportionate with belongs to we okay so their algorithm merges any two adjacent regions whose difference is smaller but of course then the minimum internal difference of the two of the regions okay so whenever we talk about that we have to keep in mind keep in mind what will be the minimum so minimum that is m of int that is r1 and r2 is equal to minimum of int that is uh, in a region r1 plus tau of r1 okay with respect to internal that the internal differences that we have find out the dissimilarity of r2 plus tau of r2 so this is the minimum requirement that we want for the for finding the internal difference between the two of the regions where we want to merge it okay so where tau of r is the heuristic region penalty that sets to that is k by r but which can be set to any of the application that is specific measure of region goodness so by merging these regions in decreasing order of the edges that is separating them okay which we have already discussed that is uh, discrete cross algorithm so here we are applying the uh, algorithm of the minimum spanning tree that is cruskulls 
minimum spanning tree algorithm because here we have to find it out the minimum value between them so they probably produce segmentations that are either too fine we can say or not too coarse okay so these are the two of the properties that we need to keep in mind whenever we are finding the minimum spanning tree or uh, whenever we are finding the uh, separating regions we are using the crosswalls that is minimum spanning tree algorithm they probably produce segmentations with respect to the properties as we have already found out so here for fixed uh, size pixel neighborhoods the running time for this algorithm is that is o with n log n where n is the number of image pixels which makes it one of the fastest segmentation algorithms so here i am showing you the figure that shows two two examples of images that is segmented using the techniques okay the first image that we have that is input grayscale image that is like successfully segmented into three of the regions okay so how these three regions have been defined as for example one image has been defined 1 2 and 3 okay the three of the regions has been separated out okay blackness the gray white scale and the whiteness okay now with respect to that we are putting the image that is inputting the gray scale image as we have already put it in the second diagram now finding out the resulting segmentation using the n8 pixel uh, neighborhood that is n8 means with one pixel that we are selecting it we are considering the eight of the pixel region okay it means four and the 4 to 4 of that is the diagonal signals so with respect to that we have already find it out the segmentation using the nx pixel uh, it is neighborhood and with respect to that how the segmentation takes place so this is what how graph based segmentation is done now probabilistic aggregation is what it's a, it is also an emerging algorithm with respect to graph based which is based on two of the cues namely this level that is a similarity and texture similarity so it has the properties of grayscale similarity and texture similarity now the grayscale similarities between the region that is ri and rj is totally based on the minimum external differences from other neighboring regions which is defined by tau that is local value which is equal to minimum of delta of i plus means uh, in a number of uh, iterations that we can have comma that is delta of j plus number of iterations it has for the j value so where we can say uh, delta of i that is plus is equal to minimum of k that is delta of ik and delta of ik okay so with respect to that when uh, sorry jk with respect to that we can find it out what a delta represents it is the difference in average intensities between the regions that is ri and rk okay this is compared to the average intensity difference because we want to do the comparison between both of them okay so the difference will be defined by that is tau of local is equal to delta of i that is minus plus delta of j that is minus by 2 okay with one minus so how it will be derived where we can say delta of i minus is equal to delta sigma of k that is tau of ik delta of ik divided by sigma of k tau of ik and t of uh, tau of ik so these are the of the parameter where with respect to that the boundary length between the regions of ri and rk is decided okay so now the texture similarity is defined using what using relative differences between the histogram bins of what simple oriented sobel filter responses a sobel operator is already been defined for the linear uh, regression or the linear uh, similarity between the filtering process so sobel operator is already defining the filtering processes or the filter uh, operators so here also it is defining with respect to texture similarity between the relative differences between the histogram bins so the pairwise uh, statistics we can talk it about is tau plus local or tau minus local are they two used to compute the likelihood that is pij that the two region should be merged okay the two region that we have talked about so the intensity and the texture similarity that is the statistics for the coarser domes that are recursively computed using what using weighted averaging also where the relative strength that is coupling between the cores and the fine level nodes are being based so that we can find it out the merged probabilities that is pig which we have to find it out for the particular two of the texture two of the uh, regions okay so whenever we want to merge it we need to find out the merging probabilities of what i and j if i am talking about the two of the regions bifurcated with i and j okay so with respect to that the next uh, topic that we have to study okay with respect to the finding itself that is mean shift and mode find 
okay in uh, mean shift will also be studied more after this okay here i am just giving the overview of it so mean shift and mode shift techniques such as that is key means and mixtures of gaussians that is model the feature factors that is associated with each of the pixels so basically mean shift and mode findings are the techniques where the k means and the mixtures of gaussians is been modeled to find out the feature factors for a particular that is each pixel so as samples from an unknown probability density function and we are finding to try it out where the clusters the modes which we have defined in this distribution so consider the color image as shown in the figure a i am showing you right now how would you segment this image based on color alone if we are finding a color how we will be segmenting it with respect to color only the figure b as i am showing you here will show the distribution of pixels that is l star u star and v star space the three of the parameters which is equivalent to what a vision algorithm that ignores special location would see okay and the to make the visualization simple let us see the coordinates as been shown in the figure see i am showing you right now so here the first figure that is mean shift okay with respect to image segmentation here i am showing you with an input color that is input color image where each and every color is differentiated and given in the image okay so mean how to find out that mean segmentation now whenever we are plotting we are taking the pixel with respect to color how we are plotting the pixels in l star u star u b star space so here that will be in gray scale form there is zero black and white color form how the area is been analyzed with respect to color okay and the third form that we have that is l star u star space distribution means only talking about the view and to represent that color intensity how it how it matters into the uh, system that we have already taken in your space the next that we have is the uh, cluster that is result that we are finding it after the uh, putting the color images so here only the black and white images was placed now with respect to color it is placed in the graph itself and showing it with respect to how much color properties okay how much intensity it is been changed or it has been placed and the last one that we have that is corresponding we can say trajectories that is okay with peaks Okay, marked as a red dot. Now, as you can see in the diagram, the red dot is being seen uh, seen in the uh, full particular diagram with respect to each and every uh, image. Okay, how it is being shown as you can see here, each and every color intensity is defined with one uh, point structure. Okay, that point is shown in the red form. Okay, that is showing basically the peak value. Okay, which is being marked with the color ratio itself. means if we are using the blue color okay till what ratio it is been uh, marked till what point till what peak it is marked as red dot okay so basically here this is the different scenarios here i am showing you with respect to first as in we can see input color image normally an image with the color intensities that we have any of the color combination with which a uh, image is been made then we have pixels that is plotted in the l star u star v star space combination where it is stored in gray scale form now putting only the l star u star space distribution particularly with respect to gray scale i have shown you in the c diagram as you can see the particular more dark values of black points means more concentration on that color or it is intensity will be high now with respect to that bifurcating the colors okay means bifurcating color the board will be the yellow color board will be the pink board will be the blue any of the color combination that is have been used so it will be shown in the as you can see uh, in the d of the diagram and after that in the e diagram as you can see the corresponding trajectory is that with the peak value it is marked with the red dot now the k means and the mixtures of gaussian techniques uses a parametric model of the density function that we are going to see after this lecture okay i'm just showing you the k means make sure that the mean shift and the mode findings uses it which is finding a parametric model of the density function to answer this question that the questions we have already arranged so they assume that the density is the superposition of a smaller number of simpler distributions okay that we can say distributions means in terms of gaussians whose location that is centers and the shapes that is covariance can be estimated with respect to the point so mean shift on the other hand we can say because this is the k means the mean shift on the other hand we can say that it smooths the distribution and find its peak value as i have shown you in the red dot as well as the region of the feature space 
that will be corresponding to each of the peak that we are taking in a particular diagram in the space okay with space with respect to l star u star and v star so this is what the thing is with respect to mean shift the k means a mixture of caution techniques we will be learning it in the next lecture so here we are uh, finding it out and we are ending it that is complete density is being modeled with the parametric equation and that we will be going to learn in more of in k means and mixtures of the caution formation so here we are ending with this lecture the next lecture we are going to do in the, the next topic we are going to do in the next lecture thank you Thank <laughs> you.